Alright guys, welcome back for part 3 of our Breath of Fire 2 run. And last time we did a bunch of grinding and crap like that, and uh, fought some harpies. But here we go, we're actually going to progress a little bit. And uh, there's this random homeless looking hut over here, and let's let's investigate. We gotta go somewhere, right? Whoa, help me! What is that? It's coming from inside! I don't know. Maybe it's a dude crying for help? Um, anyway, these are the Dragon Shrines, the only save points in the game. Um, but the ROM is that I'm using is actually glitched with save points. So, if I use the save points, eventually I'm going to lose a save file and it's going to get deleted, or it's not going to overwrite, I'm going to have to go back. So I'm actually going to use um, save states in this game, but I'm only going to use them in times when I can actually save the game, so um, hopefully it'll be a little bit legitimate that way. Um, and the first time you talk to one of these things, he like makes a joke, he's like, what, huh? Sorry, I was sleeping, nobody talks to me anymore! And he like, you know, goes into story time, and it's really kind of funny, but... Anyway, let's go help this dude, since I kind of ignored him for a little while. Help me, a cockroach! Oh no, I must help him. How's my HP holding up? I'm at max. All right then. Whoa, these dudes like uh, getting attacked. These are like some men in black cockroaches or something. Um, they give us the hunting music, which makes it sound like a joke, but it's totally not a joke. So um, these guys are actually really tough because there's so many of them. So this is pretty much where you use the fire rock. Um, just use it now and make life easy on yourself. Um, otherwise, you're going to lose a lot of HP. Look at that. Four damage a piece. There's six of them, and I can only kill one or two a turn. So that means next turn there's four, and then next turn there's one. And that's if, you know, I each kill one, which I don't think I do. So that's just a lot of damage. But use that fire rock you just got. You crush them all, which is nice. Um... If you do kill them the legitimate way, then you fight like a boss cockroach, and it's like really big and really tough, and uh, if you fight that thing, you're going to go through all of your herbs, I swear to god. So it's much easier just using that fire rock now, and that's pretty much the only time in the game where I ever feel the need to use an offensive item anyway, so don't come near me. Oh, oh, never mind. There's the big one. Okay, here we go. Just kidding. Here's the big one. Don't use the fire rock on this one. For whatever reason, it like gets ignored and it gets stronger or something but here we go so here's boss um this one wow double critical check that out oh, wow all right if you use the fire rock on that one though for whatever reason it does a bunch of damage but it doesn't register or something and it gets really powerful and i don't understand um but whatever i've never had to fight my <laughs> for my food blah 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 whatever i messed up my my text reading busy talking about, you know, something. I'm gonna have to eat this all by myself, but since you saved me, I'll share it with you guys. Oh, sweet, he got a pig! That guy in the previous episode was talking about being a hunter and getting a pig, but he's gonna share some pig. Let's take off this bothersome collar and boil you. By the way, old man, we're looking for a pet. What? Are you insinuating that I ate a dog or a cat? How rude. I haven't eaten one lately. Look at that pig. That pig is turning red. It's starting to oink. Let me see that collar for a minute. Oh, that's right! A collar! It's a pet! Susie is the pet! Oh no! Quick! Get it! Get it, get it, get it, get it! Oh, good. We saved it just in time. It's a shame. Can't I just have a bite? No! Mina will be so happy, so happy. Maybe she'll give me a kiss. Hey man, I didn't get a kiss at the end of Breath of Fire 1 after saving the world. You better not get a kiss for this. Let's rush home. Yeah, let's just come up here and jack this homeless dude's food. You know, and then walk the hell out. Yeah, you because know, that seems cool. Whatever. I don't care. I don't care. So now we have to go all our way back. Which doesn't take as long, because in the last episode, that rock... Um, change the path a little bit. So that's nice. And, uh, it allows us just to take a minor shortcut. But it would be nice if we didn't have to go through it at all. But of course, the JRPGs don't make things easy on you in the old days. Especially Capcom. Capcom never makes things easy for you. They make tough games. 
but at least I can just speed through this crap real quick. Um, obviously, you guys, I'm sure, have noticed that there's, like, a tent thing. Oh, where is Mina, actually? Oh, she's in the inn. Um, there's that tent thing, but we'll deal with that later. We won't deal with that yet. Oh, what the hell? She was supposed to be there. There's actually, I picked it up while I was doing my grinding. There's actually an antidote, I think, in that chest up there. And that's where Mina and her gang was hanging out waiting for me to do the job. So that's why I assumed she would be here, but she's not. Um, I guess I'll... I don't know, what the hell? Um, okay, I actually don't know where she is now, because that's where I was expecting she would be. I guess I'll just go to rest first. Maybe it's because it's nighttime, she's not at the inn? I don't know. There, let's rest, heal up, all that jazz. Okay, now let's try this. Nope, still not there. I guess I'll go turn it into the, uh, the guild master then. There we go, that's where she is, okay. Elder, we've done it! We found Susie! Look! Oink, oink, oink. Oh, ninja did it! I didn't know I was gonna say that. I can... <laughs> I can tell the future of pigs. Oink, oink. Susie is so clean! Did you bathe her? <laughs> Something like that. I thank you very much. I'm so glad you came back in time. In time for what? I, that was exactly what I was thinking, actually. So I've ninja everything in this conversation. She's going back to Windia. See, in Breath of Fire 1, it was called Winlin, and I kept calling it Windia, because in 2, 3, and 4, it's Windia. So, finally they fix it. I really appreciate what you've done. Come and visit us in Windia. Goodbye, everyone. Aw, no kiss for you. Get owned. That's not fair. I thought we could become friends. An ugly dog like you? Are you kidding? No. Don't pout. Here's your pay. Whoa, 500 bucks. That's not bad. There's no way that Mina could fall for anyone like me. At least we got the work done, right? Right! That's right. It's about time you gave us a bigger job. And then there's nothing else to do, so... Oh, hi, kitty. Meow, meow, meow. Are you hungry? Shall we go to our room and rest? I guess so. Um, you can say no and wander around and buy crap and whatever, but... At the end of the day, you just have... At the end of the day, you just have to end up going to rest, so... Good night. Oh, hi, kitty. Jumping on my lap. I'm hungry too, cat. I'm gonna make me a sandwich after this. Maybe some chicken nuggets. Who is... Oh, no, I'm gonna have pizza today. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have pizza. What, work? Oh, please, come in. Um, um, I see. So you want me to break into this house? Well, yes. I want you to get back the treasures that he stole from me. Do you believe my story? Okay, this is shady. Coming into the middle of the night... Asking me to break into someone's house, get this magic hood for you, when a dude's name is Kilgore. Um, I don't know. Something I learned back in a film class I took in high school, um, when I was watching Cool Hand Luke, that's what it was, watching Cool Hand Luke. Um, and they mentioned that everything is gonna be, everything in like films and crap is on purpose, whether it's the, the character's names, or you know, everything that's on screen, things like that. Um, and one of the guys, his name was Godfrey, and it was, you know, symbolic towards the whole movie and things like that. Um, and you only found that out through the credits, which is, you know, something that film critics and crap like that love when you find crap like that out later and you have to think about it. So I just analyze crap like that ever since then. You know, a dude's name is Kilgore? Um, that sounds like he's pretty barbaric, if you ask me. It's just something that I notice in my games. Um, all due to a film class. Anyway, so, um, I totally missed the dialogue, because I was busy reminiscing about life. But, uh, apparently it's late at night, and, whoa! Another, another blue-haired chick? Why does everybody have blue hair in this game? Ah, and she just, like, ran off. I don't know where she went. Hey, guards, did you see a chick? They've been secured. The only way the criminal can get away is by flying. Um, she just went this way, dude. Like, she just went this way. You telling me she flew 
Because, I mean, I can see the door of that place, and she didn't go through there, because it's locked. So, I don't know. RPG logic. I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. Hey, you! Hey, you! I recognize you! I'm sorry. I'm the one that asked Bo to go to the Trout House. It's my fault. Wait, what? He's being treated like the bad guy. What are you talking about? You didn't find Bo. Bo, uh-oh. Oh, no, you guys think Bo did it. Oh, no. I guess he did actually break in. He stole Trout's treasure. Oh, crap. Tell him what I said. <laughs> That's very, very aggressive there, Mr. Officer. Um, I don't know about that. I think it's this weird chick. Well, I mean, she was polite. She said, oh, I'm sorry, and excuse me, and all that jazz. Um... I don't know. It, that's interesting. Anyway, so I don't know where Bo is, but there's nothing for us to do or explore or find. So I'm just gonna go back to bed. Screw this. Um, there's, yeah, there's, there's nothing I can do about it. So it sucks that my best friend... Whoa, it's a party over here. Got some Bud Light going on? I don't even drink. I just watch beer commercials from sports. <laughs> there you go. I better close this door if I can. I can't. I'm sorry. We're really in a mess now. We! We! Well, that chick was actually really nice now that I think about it. She bumped into me, but... Yes, you did. There's nothing I can do if you feel that way. Yes, I did break into that house, but I didn't steal anything. Believe me! Alright, I'll believe you then. This is what actually happened. Let's close the door first, buddy. I was trying to get what Kilgore asked me to get. Dun, dun, dun. I was asked to take the magic hood, and I had no intention of taking anything else. My understanding was that it belonged to Kilgore and that Trout stole it from him! I was taking back what was stolen so it wasn't a bad thing. I told myself this, and blah 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 blah, that's when it happened. Excuse me, she's so polite. And fast, wow. I like a chick who can run fast. Comes from being a cross country and track athlete your whole life. It was empty! That girl I saw took everything! Including the magic hood! I had no choice but to try and run, but... Yeah, this ain't stealing candles in a church, man. This is real stuff. Oh wait, I forgot, that was a dream. And that's how you became the suspect. I became the suspect. Wait, what? Somebody became- You are the suspect! We've gotta find the girl! We have to find her and prove my innocence! Uh-oh. Well, I'm gonna turn you in, buddy. Sorry. I always play a paladin. I always play lawful good. Turning you in, sucker. Where did Bo go? You're making a mistake to hide him. Well, he doesn't seem to be here. He can't escape this town. I'll catch him no matter what it takes. I mean, you didn't open the garbage can, but I guess in hindsight... I don't think a fat guy like him could fit in a garbage can anyway, so... Look at that, look at it bouncing like that. That was a close call, what shall we do? They're totally convinced that I did it. How can I escape? I got it! Take me away like this! I'll ask the old man to hide me! <laughs> Remember Nero from Ruins! Alright, so first, we jack his food, and then you're gonna go over there in a trash can and ask to be hidden with him. Yeah, carrying your fat ass in a garbage can, that's not gonna be easy. But whatever. So we got Garbage Man over here, but little does Bo know that I'm gonna turn this guy in. Because I don't want to be associated with a criminal. I'm a good guy. I got better stuff to do. I, have, I didn't like you ten years ago for that fact. Anyway. Hey, no, you can't leave town. What are you holding? I can be holding trash, I can be holding a comic book, or I can be holding Bo. If you tell him trash, he doesn't believe you, um, and then some other jazz happens, but he's too lazy to check and he just lets you go. If you tell him a comic book, he's like, wait, what? Why would you be throwing away a comic book? Let me know where you dump it off, I'll go get it when my shift is over, and it's kind of funny. And I'm just gonna tell him that I'm throwing away Bo. On second thought, I feel sorry for you, but I can't let you go. That's what I'm supposed to say, but go ahead. <laughs> I don't think that Bo is the bad guy. Don't worry, the truth will come out in the end. So he ends up letting you go. It doesn't matter what you say, you get loose. But uh, he ends up taking our story, so that's fine. 
or not, or not taking our story, siding with Bo. So that's fine. But now we're by ourselves, which is why I didn't want to buy Bo any gear, because it wastes money that way. So now we're by ourselves, which is tough, which uh, is why I'm glad I'm level seven, because that's when I learned Cure One, since Bo was previously my healer. Now I know Cure One which is kind of crucial when you're by yourself. Which just goes to show that they expect you to be this level by the time you uh, progress through the game. Otherwise, it's gonna be a tough ride. As we just speed through this. Uh, or attempt to speed through this. I'm losing feeling in my elbow because I'm like leaning on it on my desk and it's making it really tough. <laughs> Jeez, all these wussy guys and I'm already half dead by myself. Ah, there we go. We've made it. We got back to, uh, to Ruins, I guess is the name of this place. Boy, it was tight in there. <laughs> and it smelled so bad. Yeah, you're a dog. So I You like the smell of garbage. You're a dog. If you guys can't tell, I hate dogs. Oh, it's you guys again. I haven't eaten anything all day. Sorry about that. Hey, Bo can hunt. Don't worry about that. Listen to our story. I see you've been falsely charged and you want to hide. Right, and I'm counting on you to help me until Zerx finds the real crook. Actually, your timing is perfect. Ba ba boom The roof has been coming apart. I need someone to help me fix it. If you don't want me to snitch, you better work hard, ha ha! Oh, what a crafty homeless guy! Also, if you guys ever need directions in a town, like if you don't know where you're at, like you're on vacation or traveling or something, it's a big city, and you need directions, don't ask the rich looking guy in a suit who's on his Bluetooth garbage, ask the homeless dude. He knows the streets. He knows where to go. Anyway, I haven't been reading the text, so hopefully you guys have. If you don't find the real female thief, I'll have to hide forever. You would never forget a female thief who looks like a bat. If you ask around about a suspicious woman at hometown or Corsair, you should be able to get some ideas. Xerx, I've already really caused a lot of trouble for you. That's right. Ever since we were kids, I was the one that always got carried away and got us in trouble. Please find her for me, buddy. Then we can work together again. You know what? You're right. You're always dragging me down, and I'm tired of it. You never do anything for me. I'm always pulling your weight around, saving your bacon. Bacon, you're not a pig, you're a dog. I'm tired of this crap. However, I am honorable, and I am your friend. For whatever reason, for good or bad, for better or worse, I will save you. I will save the day. I will do what is necessary for you, my friend. And I'm just gonna sit here and talk and make an epic speech while I listen to this awesome music, and that's really the excuse I'm gonna have. But uh, we're gonna cut the episode here, um, leaving it under 20 minutes, and uh, here we go, guys. I got to, uh, I gotta do something to find Bo. Um, it seems a little bit like a fetch quest, you know, I don't exactly know what I've gotta accomplish here, but, uh, you know with RPGs, one thing leads to another, and another thing leads to something else, and it just starts rolling, so, um... The game is picking up even though I'm just trying to find this thief and I gotta explore all on my own, but we'll see what happens next time. And uh, thanks for watching guys, take it easy, I'll catch you later. I'm gonna go put a pizza in the oven, and then I'm gonna record the next episode while it cooks, and then I'm gonna eat some pizza. How about that? How about that? Thanks for watching guys, take it easy, take care, peace. We'll just listen to music for a little bit. Sorry, I'm a drummer. I can't resist. Alright, guys.